Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this short video I'll show you guys two methods how you can delete accounts on Windows 11. The steps actually are pretty easy and you can follow the same step to delete an account on Windows 10 also. So the first easy method is to go at search and we search for settings. Once you see settings you click over it once in order to open. From the options on the left you need to choose accounts and now we scroll Till we find other users. We click over here and here we can see all the local users of this computer. In this case, let's suppose that I want to delete this user account which is called admin test and for that we click on this narrow here and then it will pop up those two options. One of them is change account type which means that you can convert this user from administrator to standard user or whatever. And the other option is to remove the account. So we click over remove and then the process of removing this account will start and now it will pop up this window which will ask you to confirm deleting the account and data. So deleting this person account will remove all their data from this PC including items on their desktop, downloads, documents, photos, etc. If this data hasn't been backed up or saved to another location such as another PC, it will be lost delete account and data. And basically that's it. Now this user will not be anymore able to log in on this computer and all the data have been removed from your computer. Now the next method to use control panel and for that we just go once again to search and we type here control panel. Once you see the app control panel you click over it once in order to open. Now you view here by category so from this three option here large icons or small icons you choose category and then from this rubrics here that you'll see you need to choose user accounts and once again we click over user accounts here. And now it will show the local account that you are using to log in right now, which in my case is YouTube local account. But we're going to choose manage another account. So from these options here, we choose manage another account and then it will show all the users that I have already on my computer. I want to manage this user here, which is called admin Windows 11 in this case. And now I have all these options. So I can change the password for this user. I can change the account type or I can delete this account. So we click over delete the account. So now the difference between the first method of deleting the account where you are not offered to save the files of this user by using the second method through the contract panel, you have the chance to keep the files. So you delete the user so this user cannot log in anymore on this PC, but the files are still saved on your PC. You can find those files by going over local disk and then from here you go to users and over here you can see all the users that are on your PC. So in this case, let's suppose that I'm going to choose keep files and in this way, those files will be still saved on my computer but the account will be gone so this user cannot log in again on this PC. So let's click over delete account and here we are, that account is gone. If you want to do those steps by using CMD, there is another video that I have done and for that the link you find in the description below and where it's explained how you can delete or create accounts by using CMD. If you want to create users, actually it's pretty easy from the same places where we deleted those accounts, we have the possibility to add a new user in this PC settings. So we click over add account and over here we specify the user account. So creating another account is a topic for another video. So stay tuned and subscribe and you'll find out how to create an account on Windows 11. That's all that I wanted to share with you guys today. Thanks a lot for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.